Those are some numbers. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Welcome to Crits and Nits and uh, Greg knows numbers. <laughs> Greg does know numbers. He knows the best numbers. He knows all the what numbers. What can I say? I'm a numbers kind of guy. There's an infinite number of numbers. It's true. And yep. I theoretically know all of them, but practically I know a finite set. You know, it uh, it be like that. Yeah. It it do. Yeah. <laughs> wow, philosophical yeah. about numbers within just the first minute of being live. It's it great to see everyone. <laughs> how has your knitting been? Notice that I no longer ask how we've been. We know that <laughs> this is not a question that we ask in this day and age. But how's your knitting? It's happening. Depressing. It's happening. That's promising. Yes, good. It exists. I uh, should go probably go get it. <laughs> trying to make this camera. Maybe if you not... leave to get your knitting, it'll it'll focus when you come back. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm. I'm. Yeah, you keep going into like '80s music video mode. <laughs> hey, I was just thinking about the song. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like you're smudged. Here, I'll try to wipe the smudge off for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're such a dad. Uh, yeah. He didn't lick his finger first, so. Well, that's yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. That's why. That, that's why he's the dad. The, mom the does, mom does finger the finger first. That's right. Dad just scrubs or yeah. uses like the shirt. Right. Right. Y'all had different childhood experiences from me. <laughs> <laughs> Does your dad lick, lick, lick his thumb before he? No, my dad him? doesn't touch me at all. <laughs> Never, like, he's just not a toucher. <laughs> I was entirely too uh, too prim as a child to, uh, to need that kind of thing. <laughs> I'll just always like, clean. You, you know that gif of somebody throwing up in the toilet and they're being petted with a broom like they're there? <laughs> That's my dad. Yes. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, bless. Yeah, my, um, my grandparents... Uh, would uh, have like the cleaners like have my little my little tiny chinos brought back to me from the cleaners and my sweater vests oh. so, and my tiny little bow ties so uh, yeah oh my gosh <laughs> Paula so, you have to put pictures into our discord I need yeah. to see baby hollow with your is, sweater vests and bow ties I've met you oh. in person and Anything described as tiny just is not registering. Well, well, okay. T <laughs> tiny is relative. Tiny is relative. I mean, as I was as tall as most as some as grown some of people. Us. Yeah. Oh gosh. I don't tiny compared to you and me yeah. and and E. I don't know. E still towers a bit compared to me, <laughs> and therefore you. Yeah. Danny. I, the, the bar humans. there is low. <laughs> yes, true. Yeah, and, and and we can limbo under it. <laughs> yes, you, you don't you don't you don't have to arch your back for the limbo. Nope. You just, just walk right up there. <laughs> I used to be I used to be able to do that in the old studio uh, that that I do work at. I was the only person who could walk in the attic without having to bend over and without clocking myself on a beam or pipes. Nice. Even even people who were a couple inches taller than me would would grumble and uh, whack their heads pretty good, because mm -hmm. <laughs> they would think that they could clear it, and they were wrong. They were wrong. Nice. I could walk like I I would feel the the beam brush the top of my head. Yep. So that relates directly even his to Discord thing is blurry. What the hell? Yeah, that's crazy. This. <laughs> Uh, no, I was just going to say that that fe feeling it like brushed right against the head. That's why pom poms were invented for hats, for uh, the sailors and the submarines, oh, so really? that they would get an early warning before they bump their head on the shorter ceilings that are in submarines. Huh. That sounds fake, but okay. I said it with confidence. <laughs> so, and my superpower is being able to oh, say things that 
could be true or could not be true. And you are, my favorite you are the... thing, yeah, my favorite thing is when I say things that are true, but people don't believe it and then look it up and they're like, holy shit balls. What <laughs> <Yes>. the fuck? <laughs> ah, yes. We are the same Calm thing. down, yeah. replacement Deebles. <laughs> look, <laughs> my wife and kid are out of town. Deebles isn't here. Body mouth is going everywhere. <laughs> I don't think mom's in the anyway. Twitch chat yet, so you're fine. Oh. Or if yeah. she is, she hasn't shown herself yet. <laughs> right. I, I, I need Danny's mom so I can make Just her blush. Just let it all loose. I don't know. Right. Analyze you are, mom. You are the second person that, that I know who can who can bullshit with that much uh, confidence and get people to believe them. Is the first so, person hollow? <laughs> no, although that's also true. So the one that, the, the one that always gets people is when I tell people that the Michelin restaurant star rating and the Michelin tire company is the same company. Mm -hmm. the, fact, and the, that, the fact that people that don't know huge. that is so funny to me. And that they invented the star rating to sell tires. Yep. Yep. And I mean, you, you tell people that that just sounds like the fuck. That's just no. That doesn't sound <laughs> but, right. But it's, but it's true. true. Well, well, I mean, that's also from a time when when uh, uh, automobiles were a luxury, and so of right. course you wanted to know what good roadside uh, restaurants right. were were uh, available for you. Is E yeah. having their traditional pizza? Yes. <laughs> I will say that I have uh, fallen for more than my fair share of tall tales in my time, but I blame it all on my uncle Grant. Because when I was a kid, uh, he had no thumb. He just had a stump and it had like a little scar on the top of it. And every time I asked what happened to it, his response was, a pig ate it off in the Boer War. Reasonable. And when I was in high school, I got bored one day in the library and pulled out one of the uh, encyclopedias and uh, it was a world was when you found out the, And that was when you found out the dates of the Boer War. And I'm like, there's no, you weren't alive then, Uncle Grant. And he's like, no, no, that's what happened. Pigs eat, pigs eat people. I'm like, okay, I believe that part. Pigs will eat anything. But it wasn't a pig in the Boer War. It was like in a thresher or something. But mm -hmm. that was the story when I was a kid. And then in third grade... Brad Craig told me that mustard was made from crawdad guts, and I stopped eating mustard until I finally uh -huh. learned about mustard seeds. And I was very mad at him. <laughs> That's, mm -hmm. To this day, I remember that it was Brad Craig who told me that it was Damn crawdad it, Brad. guts. I hate Brad. I, I'm glad. I'm glad that you said that after we had the uh, the the mustard season in the redaction <laughs> reports, because Dan would have used that. Oh yeah, he totally. <laughs> Come would on, have. shrimp and mustard live brought together in one horrible concoction. Oh, I can still spread that little bit of information to his brain. <laughs> and there spread are many like more seasons to come. Veneer of mustard. I've never really liked mustard, honestly. Nope. Like mm -mm. mustard. Although I'm notoriously uh, picky, so I love not, it's it's just not my condiment. Uh, yeah, mustard I'm a ketchup great. man myself, a ranch. Tell me about your love of mustard, Ernest. Man, I have so many mustards in my fridge. I get yelled I get yelled at about it. Like, Ernest, why do you have like six kinds of mustard in your fridge? And it's like, what if I need mustard? <laughs> yeah. What if I need mustard? Right. And what if I'm in the mood for 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 with a little bit of that grit to it, and more or what with some with some uh, the punch wins heat? Tell me, do you have any gray poupon? I have some in my fridge. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't eat a lot of mustard. I it, it was the whole crawdad gut thing. It it really threw me off. But I'll I'm, use it on some I'm, stuff. I'm going to be right back. I'm I'm going to my fridge to get my mustard to show you my mustard. <laughs> I'm so excited to see your mustard. Don't cut it. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. We also have three types of ketchup in our fridge. See, ketchup differences are acceptable. Well, but also, I, I prefer ketchup over mustard. And it's, it's just because we've got different dietary needs in my house. Like, I have to have the... Um, I keep wanting to call it the Heinz free and clear, but no, it's tied free and clear. It's the 
sorry. But it's it's the Heinz like all natural one that doesn't have the preservatives and the fake sugars because of food allergies and sensitivities and stuff. And then um we also have someone in the house who can't have or who's trying to watch their sugar. And so we've got like a no sugar ketchup, which again, I can't have because I can't have any of the sugar replacements. And then we've got like just the regular mustard so that when people come over and want to use up mustard, they're using regular mustard and not one of our fancy expensive mustard. ones. It is, we have, <laughs> or ketchup mustard. rather. Get, get ketchup, ketchup. Right. yeah. So we've got my ketchup and his ketchup and guest ketchup. Cause you know, it's the, the way we roll. Let's see your mustard, Greg. All right, so like my favorite and uh, Meredith as well. Our favorite mustard is the Maley mustard. Uh, comes in a couple of different varieties, um, and we have found that if you take the um, oh my god, <laughs> holy shit! The, wow. if, you t- if you take the Dijon original mustard and mix about sixty percent of this with about forty percent of the old style mustard. Because the old style mustard is really just, um, I don't know if we can get a good picture here. It, it's really very just seedy. Okay. So you yeah. really, really see those seeds there. And then the Dijon, of course, is very, is creamy. And like, like I will eat this with a spoon because it is just so good. But if you mix it in with the Dijon a little bit, um, you get a really good blend and we love mustard so much that we get it by the by the Costco size by the 4.1 kilograms. <laughs> wow. The 9.05 pounds. Okay. So. So Good yeah, mustard. I I just I'm glad that mustard came up cuz I wanted to show you my mustard. <laughs> I love that. And you're cradling them like babies cuz you know, uh, they're, they're, they're uh, your mustards. <laughs> Greg, are, 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 are you in are you in the dull men's club on Facebook? I'm not, but uh, they want me to be because I keep getting them in my feed. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm in there and I and I am not a man, but it is a fun place Nor to, are to you hang dull. out. Nor are you dull. <laughs> no. I'm I'm not the one who's allowed to claim that, but you know what? I I'll, I'll accept that comment. Hi, Sherlock. We uh briefly lost hollow's feed so i've just switched us over to the four person for the moment hello hello i'm sure that uh i help you sir hello cat hello's doing some camera maintenance yeah or possibly Possibly rebooting the whole thing possibly by eating the whole thing out a window i mean that's an option too you might have wanted some mustard i know it could be we've been talking too much about mustard and um (laughs) we haven't shown any knitting yet (laughs) nope Sash. What? No. Welcome, <laughs> I don't welcome like to mustard. another episode of Mustard and Ketchup with your host, <laughs> Danny. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. Hello, cat. Hello, oh, sir. Oh, Can I help we you? have a, a recommendation to look up Coleman's mustard from Sash. All right. So now I'm curious, and we will have to do this later and, and see what we can find. It may be a thing that we can't get around here, but we'll see. Maybe we'll do a mustard review at our next episode. <laughs> our next just no, episode. Ne- okay, that, our next, that I will. Accept. Our next just knits episode will be uh, yeah right more mustard discussion. Just mustard. Well, if we have to order it from the UK, we might as well get salad cream and brown sauce and just. <laughs> I was thinking just fill up the rest of the package with Cadbury chocolate, but mm, that is the oh correct answer. When I went and saw Warhorse in London on my study abroad trip. The people in front of me at the theater, we got talking because I was like, it's so weird that you guys have ice cream on your intermission. And they're like, what do you guys have in the, in the U.S.? And I'm like, we don't. We don't eat in the theater. <laughs> yeah. um, and come to find I, out, they lived very close the to the theater. Cadbury factory. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah. They're like, yeah, it smells really good. I bet it does. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> My cat is headbutting me. Aw. Hello, Sherlock. Aw. What a sweet, sweet kitty. Yeah, I've been gone all day. And then I was napping. So he's like, oh, attention. Attention now. Yeah, my girls are upstairs pouting that I am downstairs, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's not that long. No, and the weather, I think, has stopped weathering. So, Oh, thank That's goodness. Good. 
Well, we should talk about knitting a little. Eh. Mm. Greg, are you knitting some socks? I am not currently oh. knitting socks. Ooh, Ooh beer knitting snowshoes. <laughs> But I am currently knitting socks. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. So last time I was excited about the uh, snowshoe cowl in Norwegian that really did not need language interpretation for because it's do the chart. And right. um, and I just, I'm halfway through. I, I did the did the round that was halfway earlier today. So I'm, I'm a round or two past halfway. Awesome. So you can see the snowshoes. And they look like snowshoes. Yeah, they Those do. are so cute. Yeah. So I fought with it a little bit because it wanted me to cast on with... Um, oh, Not Jewies. I... No, 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 no. It's just a <laughs> cast on, but they wanted me to cast on uh, with um, two and a half millimeter Oh, needles. I remember seeing you post about that. And... Um, and then, and then after I did the ribbing, switch to three mil. Oh uh, no! Th start with three millimeter needles, and then switch to three and a half. Well, for my three and a half millimeters, I've got a sixteen inch circular, which is great. Yeah. So that's that's what I like to do. My two and a half millimeter needles, and I, I hope these numbers are helping you out. Man. <laughs> I got threes and twos and halves and everything. And, and I my, try to count to four. <laughs> <laughs> my so my my three millimeter needles are thirty two inch circular. And I tried to do a double uh, magic loop with it, and I suck at magic loop because I've just never learned how to do it. And I don't care because I I rarely need it. I, I'm happy with DPNs most of the time, or you know the 16 inches, um, and so that's fine. Uh, so I kept, but I kept trying to do stuff, and I it I didn't get it to work right. And and uh, so if I was oh, screw it, I I just do it with three and a halves. That what what yeah the three and a half to start with and so like as a result my my ribbing is a little bit wider than the color work but that shit will block right out yeah when when and I if we uh, didn't know we wouldn't wash. know yeah you right. wouldn't know and also you know I want a little bit of extra I, the, I want it like I want it to flare I I actually like a cow that flares a little bit on either end and then gives me a hug in the middle um Aww. so you yeah. know needed to hug you. Absolutely, I want my knitting to hug me. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm I'm good with it, and like I said, I'm halfway halfway done. So next next week or so, I'll finish this, and and it'll be it'll be great. I'm really excited because the the kit was given to me by a friend this spring. So I'm you know happy to happy to get that going. Um, and then uh, I'm also working on a sock, so I'm a little bit past the toe. Uh, and most of the striping I knitted while I was in the movies yesterday, nice. which oh, was uh, the Deadpool uh, Wolverine movie. Did you like it? It was so good in all the wrong ways. Yes. <laughs> okay. It was so good in all the bad ways. Yeah. It was... I mean, I, 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 I realized that I'm not doing anything Sunday night. I might go see the movie. Yeah. I, I enjoyed it a lot. Again, you know, my family is out of town this week, so... I get to like do stuff. Go do stuff like that. Um and uh so so yeah, so but now with my socks make sure I pull the right needle out. So my socks I do on DPNs. So you know I got the little triangle thing going on to get going around in the round. Yeah. And a green triangle even. Ooh. Ooh, just for you. Um and and it's fine. And I don't stocking it in the round. I don't need to look at while I do it. So knitting in a theater is fine for that sort of thing. But doing that on DPNs turns out I do need to glance at it every now and then more than I thought I did. So <laughs> I got I got home from the movie last night and then spent a half an hour fixing some mistakes <laughs> that I had that I had made because and I and I felt myself making them. Well, I was, I was like, oh fuck, this is wrong. I'll keep going. It won't fall off, and I'll fix it when I get back. It just had to drop down a couple of rows, rounds, and ladder it back up. It was fine, uh, but I have decided that I will try to avoid knitting in the round at the movie theaters on DPNs. Gotcha. A lot of, you know, 
this, this, this. So, but it was, those are the only two things I'm working at. And I sure as hell, I'm not going to do color work at the movies. No, that sounds like a terrible thing. <laughs> sounds bad. Yeah. Unless you get Feels to one bad, of those man. theaters that does a craft night. Oh, yeah, okay. Because I've seen those on the interwebs, on Instagram, I think. People talking about and theaters that have, like, low lights on. so that Yeah, they do relaxed showings, too, for folks with yeah. sensory needs, and the lights are up. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, uh, Pam, um, my co-host on, on the other podcast I do, uh, talks about when she goes to the movies... Uh, that it's at it's at a, an Alamo uh, draft house, and they've got like lighting right around her seat. She says it's it's like right under the tray or something something like that. So it, she says it's great when I'm knitting. I can always like just put my glance. put my hands down a little bit to take a look at it, and then you know if I need to. So anyway, all right, I that's guess it. that's I'm my knitting. Gonna, guess I'm gonna look at a new webcam. <laughs> Aww. Well, I mean, I'm in, I'm in IT. I did all the tricks I know, and uh, it's just I, mean, I bought. I did all the tricks I know. I bought this thing at the beginning of the panini. Okay, it could just be that it's decided it's done. I mean, I, I'm, I'm sure it got overworked during the the panini gram. Kind of oh, like yeah. it still has that film on it when you first buy something. You don't yeah. take the film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it can see. Like Danny's webcam was doing the same thing, and I think that's when she switched out. Yeah. Yeah, it and was it, just being a little brat. Yeah, it just like Dan, I remember Danny's webcam doing the exact same thing, and it just would not. Nothing worked. Nothing worked anymore. It just was dead. Oh. It was very sad. But uh, I hear this Elgato face cam is pretty nice. Uh, that, that, that is that is a standing rumor. I I am so happy with mine, and it is great for it. Like especially this and for um, that's pretty crafty because you can see whatever I'm holding up, and the focus mm -hmm. it's it's a fixed length focus, but it's got a wide range. So mm -hmm. like anything that I hold up, I mean we can see it when it's not a completely black thing. Yes, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, this one is a little bit hard because it's dark green, but you know. Cameras like, have a difficult hold my hand. time. There we go. Yeah, cameras have a difficult time picking up dark things, so you have yeah. to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad Hollow made that joke. <laughs> uh, we were uh, like so, a team there. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to send a link to you, Danny. Just tell me if it's this one. I will. All right, Mr. Man, you need to get down. What the yeah. fuck? My sleeve started unraveling. Oh, oh so my is, God. Yeah, so I've been working uh, on knitting with the knit ladies who have adopted me at my local yarn store. They all Wait, let me let me interrupt. You get adopted by knit ladies all the time, don't you? <laughs> well, yes, but these knit ladies aren't trying to sell their daughter to me or or, <laughs> or, or themselves trying to, or trying to sell me on their daughter or sell themselves to me. So or sell you on the or entire so state of North Carolina. Yeah, or sell or me on the entire state of North Carolina. Like, no, that's happening. So or sell you to their daughter. Right. <laughs> no, that's happening. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah. I mean, like, I walked in, and uh, the only thing that they're really doing is that uh, they're giving me shit for being a thrower instead of a picker. Well, you know, everyone has their thing. I mean, if that's all that they're being twitchy about I guess that's better than some other options so yeah knit things get weirdly tribal uh, but we all agree that Judy's that Judy's fucking magic loop <laughs> is some bullshit <laughs> we all agree that we're gonna find Judy excellent that evil uh -oh. magic. I really should have named your big bad Judy like that, Honestly. That's just an oversight on my part. You know, it's it, it's not too late to find out that, that his middle name is Judy or something. <laughs> that is a possibility. Or that he's just the warm-up for Judy. Ooh. <laughs> Judy is the big bad. God damn it, Judy! <laughs> I okay. told your ass. 
Are your sleeves happier now? Yeah. I I have no what idea. What the hell happened? Apparently, I just didn't finish the bind off. Like, I didn't pull the oh. this yarn through on that sleeve. Well, that's and I didn't weave in the end. I woke in the other of. end. But this one, I just left loose. That was a choice that I made. A terrible choice, but. That was a choice. I'm going to go get the pizza sauce off my hands so I can show my knitting. <laughs> All right. And I yeah. think I've hit a point where I need a tape measure. Is that a tape measure? No, it's a thermometer. Or not a thermometer. It still measures and has numbers. It's close enough. It does. I, I don't think it's going to give me the numbers that I need. Which numbers do you need? Uh, <laughs> he has all of the numbers. I need a 12 is what I need. A 12? That's my shoe 12. size. No, actually, no, that's not. My shoe size is a 13. Sorry about that. That is... 12. 12 is my daughter's age. Okay. Go with that. So you can have my daughter's age. I, I don't know <laughs> that I can hold your daughter's age up to my sweater to know if it's long enough, but... Oh, I'm trying to help, Danny. I know. I appreciate the effort. I'm looking no, to see. No, no, notice that he's offering his daughter's age to you and not to me, the fake creature in this call. Because <laughs> he knows. Yeah. He knows. I'm just trying to decide which would be more interesting, to, to revert her back to younger or or pull her older. Yes. <laughs> just but suddenly give funny, Greg just a 17-year-old. Yeah. What? The, the real question... <laughs> <laughs> is is her age mine to give? Ooh, that's a good question. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good. Yeah, I could tell. <laughs> Welcome back, E. <laughs> uh, basically, Danny was was looking for a thing to measure sleeve with, uh, and we were commenting on the fact that she grabbed a thermometer rather than a tape measure first. And then I was like, oh, yeah, you need to, you need 12. Well, that that is not Greg's shoe size. His shoe size is 13, but his daughter is 12. And, then, and I was like, I noticed that you're offering your daughter's age to Danny and not to the fake creature in this call. And then it just sort of devolved from there. <laughs> okay. All I got was we're giving Greg a 17-year-old. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's that. I can see how that would be weird. That'd be hysterical, though. What would I do with a 17-year-old? Check back in five years. Check back in five years, and I'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, I if mean, it's I'll... anything like what my parents did, uh, the answer is cry, or uh, <laughs> scream, or uh, take away cars. Depending on which of the 17-year-olds, of course. And then there was 17-year-old E, who was like, Mom, I'm joining the drama club! <laughs> <laughs> What an yeah. act of rebellion. I know. 17-year-old Ernest, mother, I am leaving the house to go play Yu-Gi-Oh. Good <laughs> goodbye. 17-year-old 17, 17 Ren, uh, I've been cleaning houses semi-professionally for five years. I'm going to start my own business. It's okay. I mean, I, I was, wish I was kidding. <laughs> I was going to school early so that I could sit with my friends and drink tea at McDonald's for an hour before Ooh, class. I remember you talking about this. <laughs> I was getting a job at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was a theater kid. We did all of our theater stuff. I was actually good. Um, my sister is a different story. And I look at her kids. And uh, I don't know how my mom's not constantly just cackling. <laughs> Because you know, it's, it, karma. It's, it's what it's one of those moments of yes, you're uh, the universe has given you the child that you were. Yes, like, which, I try, which, I, which I try not to say to my sister because uh, her seven year old is basically a teenager in some ways at this point. Uh, I I love the kid to pieces. There is a battle of wills happening in that house. Yeah, that's always fun to be on the outside of. Yes. And just encourage and be like, you've got this girl. Whom are you encouraging? <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> it's very much the she's going to take over the world if she survives to adulthood. Yep. Uh, 
but I'm also like, yeah, this is my little sister. So, ha ha. <laughs> Karma's a bitch. <laughs> yep. Should, should they have known better? They should have. Also, fuck that girl. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hanging out in the in the internet drama corner of things, so I knew exactly what you were referencing, and I have feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's going to have to send me messages okay. and memes later. Yeah, it's, 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 it, it, it's JoJo Siwa. Oh, <laughs> oh, JoJo, JoJo Siwa has turned twenty one, and now she's trying to be the edgy, rebellious. Right. Yes. I'm I, I'm go I'm going to invent gay pop because there's never been a gay pop artist before. David Bowie Girl. would like a word. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot who would like a word. <laughs> Lady Gaga would like a word. Um, Elton John would like a word. Yeah. I got yeah. a careless whisper for you right over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a lot of uh, queer pop artists in history. Freddie Mercury, like God, the man's iconic. And she straight stole her song. Well, kind of. No. No. Yes, but no. Yes, but no. I mean, the problem, oh, the, the problem is that she claims to have written it when she probably only like uh, uh, changed a couple lines in like a bridge or something like that. Right. Technically, it was not stolen. Her record company had purchased it from the songwriter and it was and it was available for her to use. So technically, it was not theft. And the, the writer of the song has come out and said that. Right. Um, she just did. But also write it. Right. And she's over here talking about how in depth and difficult her writing process is. And she really like delves into the depths of her soul for it. We're like, girl, these are all such basic bitch pop songs. <laughs> like Taylor Swift was, was making these kinds of songs like 15 years ago. You are late. <laughs> Look, she is special and awesome and like, you know, good dancer. See? She is a good dancer. I will absolutely give her that. <laughs> well, not right now. She's she she says she's overdoing it because that's what sells on TikTok, which that makes sense. Fair, Tracks, fair, yeah. I guess. Oh god. Hey, look, my 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 progress keeper stitch marker opened up and fell off of my needle. Oh no! It's <laughs> awesome. I gotta figure out where the beginning of my snowshoe round is. Oh no. <laughs> So, so I, f I finished the counting row. So hey, hey, congratulations. Baby blanket what you got going is, on there? Baby blanket is currently in progress or continuing to be in progress. I am finishing up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I am finishing up row of uh, repeat thirteen. So I'm approaching halfway through this blanket, theoretically, although I don't know. It feels like it might want to be bigger. We'll see. I've got I've got yarn. I ordered more yarn, and I think it matches, or at least close enough. Okay. We like yeah. that. This is what I've been working on. This is all that I've been working on, because it's 252 stitches per row. That does it's take It's looking some great. Time. Yeah, I I'm finished really my, pleased yeah. with that. I finished my baby squared. Where do I, who do I send that to? Which one of you? Me. You, okay. Yes. You made a, you made a square out of babies? Yes. Yes. <laughs> That was too good. <laughs> yeah, that was happened. disturbing. <laughs> okay. Yep. Play a I, soundboard um, for a second. Like I, I, I'm around cats, so I'm immune to that. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I one year for Halloween, I put on a latex baby mask, a fedora, oh, like a giant wide brim fedora, and a trench coat, and I just walked wow. around and made that noise walking around town. That sounds horrifying. Scare everyone. You 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 were the fedora tipping baby man. Wow. That... It was great. That I'll would bet. be scary for an uh, to see an average sized man wear that, but you're so tall. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, surprised I, I you didn't just... turn into an urban legend. <laughs> I'm just over so here, like, hey, e, e, uh, e, you have your new sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> yeah. I hope somebody's talking about me years later. Probably. Probably. <laughs> I uh, so I used to be on um, the board for a nonprofit that worked at the hospital. It worked with preemies and everything. So you know, that's that's my origin that's story. Blueberry. 
Yeah, that's that's where I, that's where I live, and um, we would meet at the hospital every month for our board meetings, and one time out of the year, we'd walk in and there'd be a basket of babies, like next to the built next to the room that we were going in, and it was always like disturbing and interesting, and uh, uh, E looks very concerned. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm going to guess it's, it's it's a CPR class. It is CPR class. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so it's a basket of babies. Like I, I I'm I'm looking up. I'm gonna I'll drop a uh, I'll drop a link in. in Those CPR uh, drop, babies are creepy. Drop, they, yeah, they really are, creepy. are. We have one that lives in the closet at work. Yeah, mm. I, just, I did find a picture of the of the of the baby Halloween. Drop that oh, in the chat. Dear. Oh dear. Goodness. Oh dear! <laughs> As we all go back. Oh my yeah. gosh. Ah! Um, oh wow! I love it. Yeah, no, it's it... very good. Fuck. It's also horrifying. <laughs> Two things. Yeah, can that be is true. that is. Apollo, can, can 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 I use that? That even for like a a a, 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 a analog horror thing at some point? Absolutely. Thank you. I will give you full credit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> we are just all mesmerized by this. Wow. Yep. Yep. The and they're new babies. Yeah, of course they are. Why yep. why would you why would you put a why would you put a nappy on them? Yep. And I just walked oh. around town making that baby noise and people were like, why? <laughs> 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 yeah, I've been I've been toying with the idea of doing like an analog horror something, just because it's such an interesting space to play in. What is analog horror? Uh, basically, horror that uses the like the VHS technology to to really like hide things. Um, it's it's things like uh, the is Walton it an Files. ARG? Some of them are okay. Some, so I mean, I know about them because, of course, why do I know most things on the internet? Because Matt Pat covered it on on <laughs> film theory. Uh, let me let me see if I can pull up some some of the ones that I really love. More basket of babies, Jesus Christ! Right. You have to stop. <laughs> of course, I don't have to be clicking on them every time. But well, I, I mean, I, it's I, true. I, I I accidentally did not spoiler pick the second one, but I just deleted it and I put it back on with the spoiler, with the spoiler on it. So. Yes. Baby is going to be so confused. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, she is. Hey. Yeah, there we go. You're falling down on it. <laughs> yeah, you did. Oh, man. DB gave me a scolding for impersonating <laughs> That her. was funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We enjoyed it. Uh, I think one of the ones that, that, I, that I really love, where let me get back here, is um, Local 58. It's a local public access television station that's all about uh, don't look at the moon, or you know do the the entities are are commanding you to look at the moon. Oh, that okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. All right. Oh, oh, Chris Straub made it. Awesome. I'm very unfamiliar with Chris Straub. Oh. So yeah, you said. <laughs> Just the just the baby blanket, not a basket of babies. A blanket for a baby. A blanket, a blanket for a baby, and a Place square. It and a over square... the babies, so we don't have to look at them. <laughs> and a square made of babies. And a square, a square made, of babies. made of babies. Yes. Excellent. What else do I'll, we have? I'll just make my life easy. <laughs> oh, ooh, there we go. A playlist. Oh goodness. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, over over switch. on over on GT Live, there are seventy three videos that are that are cataloged as uh, MatPat's analog horror. Okay. okay, but it's stuff like like uh, oh, this one isn't in there. Uh, Godzilla analog horror, the story of the tragedy of the man in the suit. Okay, you can call yours the tragedy of the man baby in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Yeah, the, the idea of the tragedy of the man in the suit is that someone who wears the Godzilla suit is being subsumed into the suit. Ooh, that's and terrifying. Yeah. 
No, thank you. I don't like it. I, I, I do. I do like horror. I'm just not particularly good at most of the time. Created it on my own. Gotcha. That's why I, I can't my people progress like Dan. Yay! Yay! It's back on where it belongs. Excellent Good job. Oh, we All right, now that you're drinking E, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't much left. I gotcha. Good job. Um, I am, well, last time we met, I was frantically crocheting a manta ray, I believe. Yep. yep, um, yep. Got it. A bunch got of them. Got finished. Um, got it all packed up, wrote a nice little note to this girl I've never met, who's three. Mm -hmm. um, in case you missed it, um, what, a co-worker's um, little girl had an accident with a bookcase and got her hand pretty badly crushed. Um, so the co-worker's been out taking care of the daughter. Um, and there was a card to sign, like, oh, best wishes, heal up quick, et cetera, et cetera. And I was like, oh, I'll, you know, make the kid something because hospital i don't know if she's in the hospital was in the hospital whatever it can be scary so mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. made her a thing um still there still at work still all wrapped up nobody's delivered the card Aww. so man yeah it'll make its way to her and i'm sure she'll appreciate I mean, it it will eventually i just if you're gonna put a card together for somebody maybe deliver don't it. wait two weeks <laughs> to give it to them yeah Anyway, um, their, heart, their heart is in the right place. So they, they just don't follow through. Yeah, follow through is something that does not go well at national hardware store chain. Um, TM. Yeah. Uh, so now I I had started another one because I still have all that yarn from the mystery crochet along that I didn't end up completing. Um, and then one of my coworkers very frequently helps me with his forklift driving skills because I am not yet certified on the big, the big boy forklift. <laughs> um, so he helps me a lot and will usually like drop what he's doing to help me with the forklift. Um, and he always wears a hat. And so I said to him, if someone were to make you a hat, what kind of, what color should they use for your hat? And he said, Oh, I like gray or, or dark green. And I said, okay, great. And then I was looking at hat patterns and then I was like, Oh, wait a minute. This is the same guy that printed out Owen for me. Oh, and he's always talking to me about his Dungeons and Dragon plans. Maybe I should make Danny's bag of sorting for him. So I asked him the next day, I said, would you prefer a hat or a dice bag? And he said, oh, a dice bag. So Yay. I am working on the bag of sorting. Yay! In gray and dark green. And it's that um, weird spot that is so strange looking. Yes. And it's even stranger because I goofed and skipped, skipped a row. Oops. So I am like in between. Right. <laughs> yeah. There we go. What the hell's happening? There we go. <laughs> I'm in between two <laughs> because I accidentally skipped one of the increase rows, but it's fine. Um, yeah. Just pull it along. We'll get there. Yep. Nice. No, no set ended date on it. So nothing wrong with that. I love that. I've knit that twice. I gave one, the first one to my, my former, uh, manager and then the second one i kept for myself was it the one who uh printed herder for you yeah the one who printed herder for me knitting dice bags for people who 3d print things for you <laughs> well, in, in my case it was the other way around 3d print something for someone who gave you a dice bag because <laughs> hey i gave it whatever um then i was on facebook and the Dangerous. algorithm did show me a thing and it was like a realist, not like true realism, but like cartoony realism, snake that somebody crocheted. And I'm like, this is baller. I hope the pattern is in the comments. And it was not. <laughs> of course not. not. Um, there was like, here's a similar thing, but the original thing looks like it's from a Russian crocheter and nobody can find the pattern. Uh. Um, and I mean, people aren't obligated to give out their patterns, their proprietary right. patterns. That's no, but they should provide a link. But then yeah, also, let me see the original artist. Like, let me show my love for this very cool snake. Um, but some of us do freehand crochet and aren't very good at crochet patterns and just make stuff and say, you can try to make yeah. it. This is what it looks like. Yeah. And that's also fine. Um, 
and they dropped somebody dropped like a couple of well this is close in the comments and i was looking at those and i'm like it's not though <laughs> um, <laughs> so while i was waiting waiting uh for my turn at blood donation today i was on <laughs> ravelry looking at <laughs> ravelry and google and etsy looking at uh crochet snake patterns nice um, and one I found that I think I might actually want to do is a temperature snake. I've seen that. It looked like such yeah. a cool idea. <laughs> yeah. Way better than a temperature blanket. Yeah, because who needs another blanket? <laughs> Plus, blankets are big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, a temperature snake, I guess, would get kind of big, too. But I mean, it depends. If you're using chunky yarn, this going to be kind of big. But if you're using, like, fingering weight, it's just a little guy. Yeah. Just a little snake. Oh, yeah, I might do that for next year. The temperature snake. I love it. Very cool. It'll be I'll, cool I'll and then it'll be warm the and it'll be cool yeah, yeah, and warm. Exactly. Yeah. All kinds of things. I'll put I'll put that in the in the Discord for people to make their own temperature snake. Woohoo. Yeah. Right. That's all I got to say about that. Well, I am uh, currently, I have put down the sweater because I need to measure it so I don't go too long. I'm waiting for more yarn. Um, so this is the, the, the baby sweater that is going to be a, like a four-year-old sweater. It's hard to see. Because it's black. Oh, I could turn on the sun. Hey. And now you can see oh, it's it. Green. Oh, it's green. It's green. Yeah, it's a dark green. Um, but yeah, this is not two-year-old size. This is going to be like four-year-old sized. God, that's bright. Well, you know, that, that they grow into things. They do. So I also don't have that much of a rush to finish this. Um, but this is the mm -hmm. latte coat pattern, and I'm loving it. And the the size issues are all because I substituted a bulky yarn. Mm -hmm. And decided that I was just going to knit. And then once I was partway through, use that as a gauge swatch, because honestly, like we said, kids will grow into it. So I'm not too concerned that it's bigger than I had intended because it's not like it's for me and it's going to be huge. It is for a small person who is going to become a larger person as he grows. Um, Indeed. And also oversized sweaters for the win. Yes. I've got buttons already purchased for it. Um, and tell me about your buttons they... i'll hear about those buttons <laughs> they are just um i see you gregory clearancy <laughs> machine washable oh, yeah. cool. plastic oh, cute. Yeah. wood looking buttons and uh they i have four of them because they go in uh two pairs in the front mm -hmm. and that, is, that is a very ranger sweater you're making there yes yes Mm -hmm. And uh, buttons are like it, those are like the, the the little like icing on the cake yeah. for 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 child sweaters especially. Whenever whenever I was doing this, I always took Meredith with me. She's the button whisperer. I can't yeah. find shit, and she would pick mm -hmm. out she would pick out the ones for me, and it was great. I am debating doing something different, like I'm because it's bigger than I was initially planning. I might get like toggle buttons. Because I love mm. toggle buttons, like long skinny buttons. Mm -hmm. Or I might just break into my button jar and see what I've got. I call it a button jar. It's mm. a, you know, the, um, the cookie tins, yeah. the butter cookie tins. The Danish cookie tins yeah. where, 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 where it, it's always a, a toss up between it actually being cookies and it being the sewing kit. Yes. Well, my grandma didn't keep her sewing kit in it. She kept buttons in it. And so I grew up and I had just a regular size tin. And then several years ago at work, um, I work in a medical environment and there are always patients bringing in stuff. And they tend to bring in like sealed containers of things because mm -hmm. we all feel safer eating sealed containers of stuff than random someone made you something. It is very sweet that a lot of them make stuff for us, but I don't know what's in that and I'm not going to take the chance. But apparently the the butter cookies not only come in the little tins, they come in giant tins. Mm -hmm. And when the cookies were gone, I asked if I could take the tin home and they said, sure. And so I have a giant tin and it is currently about halfway filled up with buttons. 
I have a mm. lot of buttons. Um, I got yeah. a bunch from my grandma. I got a bunch from my mom. Um, and then I just, every time I see buttons on clearance, where it's like 25 cents for a card of buttons, I buy all of the card that are the same buttons so that I've got like a full matching set because yeah. I need buttons all the time. Like I make sweaters that need buttons. I make bags that need buttons. I make little, I made a, a cover for my Kindle that needed a button co closure. Like I need buttons. And you've still got like four inches of cylinder left to fill. I do. The I have void lots of room must for be filled. Yes. <laughs> Nature abhors a vacuum. Exactly. And like all of the, um, the dress shirts that come with a little button in a baggie. Oh yeah. I, I keep them in the baggie so that right. if I ever need to replace that button, I can reach in and find the baggies of button <laughs> instead of trying to just dig through all the button to find the one that matches my dress shirt. Mm -hmm. but, uh, in any case, um, I have buttons. I am waiting for more yarn to come. This is the sweater that because of my, uh, lack of planning i was trying to use up stash and i had to buy more yarn <laughs> but the yarn Shocks. is on its way yeah but hey i used the uh unraveling code or the unraveling link to nitpicks oh good so Thank you. um we should include that somewhere we'll put that in our knitting section on the discord so that if you need to order something from nitpicks you can follow the link through the unraveling page that's greg's other podcast and mm -hmm. they get a little bit um of a, a kick yeah. for that yeah a little commission type of thing we uh it does not affect the price that you pay so you pay the same either way and it just helps us a little bit with hosting fees and the like yeah so yeah i I've, I've been working on that sweater and i think i'm at the bottom but i need a tape measure to be sure and then i also have been knitting and crocheting more dishcloths Yee. So I've been messing with sizes. So this is a knit one and a slightly smaller knit one. I think I like the slightly smaller size. Like it's, it's mm -hmm. not a huge size difference, but just enough that, but then again, I've got small hands. So maybe other people yeah. will like the bigger one. I'm just going to keep making them whatever. Uh, size is a personal preference. It is. And I'm just going to have lots of options and I'm going to be giving these away to everyone I know. I did a crochet one that had a little bit of an extra border because I had a little bit of yarn left and a ah. slightly smaller one. Well, it turns out that all of these friggin' crochet cotton, dishcloth cotton, have different yardages based on the specific patterning type they have. So like uh -huh. this one was the sugar and cream stripes, which has different yardage than the sugar and cream solids, which has different yardage than the sugar and cream ombre, which has mm -hmm. different yardage than the, the peaches and cream, which has different yardage than the big twist cotton. And so uh, now I'm just like, well, I will make the base of it the same size for the first one. And then for the second, if I've got extra, I'll go around some more and be fine. So we've been doing that and what else have I done? Oh, I made a whole bunch of bracelets. <laughs> are you are you in your Taylor Swift phase now? Uh, well, I am now. I am, I am <laughs> yes, Valid. but also I'm playing a character who is a Swifty and is going through a lot, and so Aww. I made um, this this whole series here is based on her feelings about another character, and she's angsty and. So I wore these for the last episode that we, we streamed. And uh, yeah, so I made a bunch of uh, friendship bracelets because that's... I have the supplies! I'm a crafter! <laughs> why not? She says with her hoard dripping from her fingers <laughs> and she <laughs> says, why not? Why not? I have, I have so many letters, you guys. <laughs> so many letters. <laughs> Think of all the cuss words you could spell. Oh yeah, <laughs> like shit, fuck, piss. <laughs> Try to remember the ones DB doesn't want me to say, <laughs> motherfucker and tits. And tits doesn't even belong on the list. Not anymore. <laughs> Free the nipple. <laughs> Free the nipple. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Yep. Look, DB, I left two of them off the list this time, not just one. <laughs> oh, we love it. We love it. Well, that just happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, yep, yep. I'm trying to think of what else I did. Oh, I spent a long time updating my reading journal because I had fallen a little bit behind. So I had to, like, write all my little blurbs about the stuff that I read and try to remember what I'd read. And, uh... And yeah, it was like a whole craft project because I print out the covers and then cut them up and put them in the book so that I have a visual. Because I, I that's what I need, um, the visual. I love project. that you craft about your crafts. <laughs> yes. That, that's just, yeah. So she can craft while she crafts. Exactly. I'm surprised that I haven't got like a scrapbook from my knitting. Honestly, I, I'm surprised too. I started one I, a few years ago, and then I realized I don't swatch enough to yeah. put the swatches in. And you, well, you don't have to put swatches in. You can just put like a six inch, you know, String. cut six inches off the yarn, yeah, tape true. that sucker down. That's Cause true. Because I've seen that. Because like they, they make like you can purchase like things that are specifically for that. Of course, yeah. and of course you can go on your own. Um, and I thought about doing it one time. Same thing with me i was like fuck swatching i don't do that so yeah like whatever um but then but then someone else told me it was like well, don't swatch just put you know a little bit of the yarn I was like, oh then it's not it's not quite That's as thick. thick yeah yeah so anyway but um but i'm actually thinking about doing it for real because um patty lyons came out with a book last year patty lyons knitting bag of tricks mm -hmm. And it's a good book. It's got all sorts of like helpful, like how to fix knitting mistakes and things like that. And little tips and tricks. She's got a workbook coming out Ooh. in a couple of months. That is like, um, it's basically like a year long journey in like a self paced class oh. and you have to learn from your knitting. So you have to make some swatches in order to do it and then learn how to do it or whatnot. And then the, the workbook itself, it, it it's like um it's like the Dr. Seuss all about all about me book. You know, where you're supposed to draw in it and all yeah. that sort of stuff and everything. But you it's should for send your the, knitting. The, the link to like pre order this or whatever because yeah. like I feel that like, like something else I might could do really this. use. Yeah. I might not yeah, do so... it, but I want to. <laughs> right. Yeah. So that's that's coming out. Is, I don't remember when come it's coming around out. every year. They do. Yeah, exactly. Apparently. Well, and you you don't have to start it on January one. You start whenever you want. And you just you, know, you just do it. You know, whatever. It's 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 just. But it's like it's it's like a whole, the workbook. It it really progresses. I think she has you do six swatches, with different requirements because, for different things, you have to right. use one of them to learn learn these other things. And, I've gone through. I've read through, you know, about a quarter of the workbook so far. But I haven't actually like made swatches or whatnot. So I'm thinking about doing that. So yeah. I might do that. That sounds fun. Yeah. I'm, I struggle enough to keep my Ravelry updated. And Ravelry is a lot easier for me to search what I've done. Yeah. And honestly, I've been on it for so long that it, it feels better to keep it all in one place rather than mm -hmm. start a physical book in addition to the Ravelry. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, uh, it's not, and I thought about that too, because that's the other thing. I, I, I do things digitally, that sort of stuff digitally more than analog um, or keeping track of stuff. Um, but when I started like looking at the the knitting bag of tricks and the workbook that goes with it and everything, like, okay, this is not actually like record keeping right. as much as it is a learning experience which is why you i know, think it, i would be interested in it because i'm still such a new knitter that i think that would be actually very helpful for me yeah so i'll put a link to it in uh on, on patty's site in the um discord Excellent. and uh i will say so the the workbook comes out october 1st and it is designed to work in conjunction with the knitting bag of tricks book Okay. So if you're going to use it, because it refers to things in the book often. So if, if you want to get it, you should get both. You can go okay. ahead and get the knitting bag of tricks because that came out last year or the year before, maybe. And then the workbook comes out in a couple of months. 
and I'm dropping a link to the Discord in our chat so you can come join us if you want to see all these things that we've been talking about. Although I think everyone that I've seen talking in chat today is already in Discord, so yay! Excited to have friends showing our up. Our friends! Our friends! So you can see Sorry. all the stuff. I am. Um, I dropped it over in the Knitting Projects excellent. channel. Look forward to that. I really need to break out my D&D stir scarf again. It's sitting upstairs. I just... My spare brain power has been going to other projects. Like, mm -hmm. I've got some writing projects. Story time with Silas. <laughs> Ooh, oh, which... I, need to, I need to record on that. Reminds me. E, I need to talk to you. Um, you got it, babe. So, yeah, I've... I, I, I do the... Um, adaptation of stories into and the audio drama format and so there was there was a lot of thinking involved with that lately so my my knitting and crocheting has been like back and forth stockinette on the body of a baby sweater and dishcloths that require no thought from me it's just hands doing things so I can rest my brain and I'm feeling my voice going again <laughs> yeah I can hear it <laughs> That's probably a sign that we should wrap up fairly probably. soon. Probably, I did go to a concert this past weekend, and I screamed for about four hours, almost without stopping, and it was fantastic. Were you hanging tough? I was hanging tough. <laughs> it was so good. Oh, gosh. So, um, just so everyone knows, we are switching things up next week. Mm. So this week was a Just the Knits episode. Next week, we're going to do Just the Crits. And when you say next week, you mean literally, literally seven days, week. not 14. Yes, we are switching up the date um, because summer schedule has been summer scheduling for us. And we really, really want to, to play this next bit of our game. Um, and so everyone's schedule has aligned on a not regular week. So we are going to play next week so august 7th if you want to see us playing D, &D instead of just knitting come back and uh, we'll be playing D, D. the following week will probably be another just the knits because again schedules are scheduling um but yeah. i have a prediction about next week i believe some asses will be whipped someone's asses know who's are. <laughs> Who's it remains to be seen. Absolutely. Yes. There will be some ass whooping. Owen there does have be. a whip. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Of course he does. Herder's excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> Herder's a little too excited about that. Like my guy. <laughs> and on that note, we shall see you all uh, next week. Um, Stick around. I, I'm not going to make you guys watch unless someone else wants to talk while I figure out the raid thing. Um, it's easy. I can share some numbers. Rave for a second. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to find the group. Ink and Liar is playing right now. They're playing their oh, um, yes. Tales from the Awning Portal, and so we're gonna raid them because I'm. Big fan of Ink and Liar. I play there on Mondays. Not Mondays. We switched it. <laughs> we're playing on Sundays now. Um, what your bracelets were for? Yes. Yeah. Anyone else have anything before we head out? Mm. 69. School? That's an awesome <laughs> that number. That's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Well, we love you guys. And... Uh, hang out and raiding and liar and we will see you next week august 7th bye bye i don't know if i'm making us raid or not i hate the uh it says majestic goose is raiding with five raiders okay raid cool for 250 goose points and we have successfully raided cool <laughs> uh -huh. yay yay all right Flag all around. Mm -hmm.